Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and today I wanna to talk to you about a couple different things. One, XT4 rumors, which I'm really excited about. Also, there will be a giveaway, so make sure you stick to the end to learn all the details on how to win a really cool Peak Design backpack. And lastly, just kind of some channel update cleanup stuff. So let's do it. Okay, let's kick things off with the X-T4 rumors. I'm actually really excited for that. I use the X-T3. I love this camera. I actually recently did a video with the X-T3 versus the GFX100. So if you're interested in watching that video, I'll leave it annotated up above and in the description down below. But I love this camera, it makes beautiful images. So let's go ahead and talk about the rumored specs that are supposed to be with the X-T4. To make this easy on myself, I'm just gonna read it off my phone because I don't have the memory of an elephant. It's more like a squirrel. So to start things off, the X-T4 will have a, about a third inch bigger body than the X-T3. I really like that because honestly, one of the downfalls I think of the X-T3 was the body size. I don't know if you can tell, but see my pinky kind of like falls off and the grip really isn't too deep. So I think a chunkier body is actually gonna be a welcome addition to the X-T4. And with that, we're hoping to see an upgraded battery as well. The battery in the X-T3 is pretty good, but honestly, it could be better. It's nowhere near as good as like a can and battery, for instance, in the EOS R. Now, something really exciting coming to the X-T4 will be a 6K sensor. And supposedly, it's gonna be able to do 6K, 60 frames per second, 10-bit internal. That's insane. Of course, the Fujifilm X-T3 is able to do 4K, 10-bit internal, and that is really, really nice, but just having that extra bit of resolution, I don't know, I'm really excited. Plus, hopefully, it'll be doing an oversampled 4K, who knows, that could be really interesting. Now, one thing that people have complained about when it comes to the X-T3 is the lack of IBIS. Now, supposedly, in the X-T4, we're going to have internal body image stabilization. This is really cool. In fact, some people are saying that because the X-T4 will have IBIS, it'll make the X-H1 obsolete and therefore the X-H2 obsolete as well if they ever made that. So it could be interesting. I would love to see in-body image stabilization. The OS is pretty good, OIS rather. The OIS is really good on the lenses, but having that dual stabilization between the camera and the lens is just going to be beautiful. Now, personally, my biggest complaint with the X-T3 and the reason why I bought an EOS R at all is the screen on this thing. It's not bad, it's really good for photos. You have it to where it can tilt up like this, which you know photographers love. And then it also has this ability to flip out this way, which is okay, I guess. I don't know, but here's hoping the X-T4 is rumored to have a fully articulating flip out display. If this has it, I'm definitely going to sell my X-T3. I love this camera to death, but it would just make this camera completely obsolete to me. I love flip screens and I really hope they add it into the X-T4. Now another improvement that the X-T4 will have over its predecessor, the X-T3, is going to be the EVF. It's going to have a, and I'm having to read this, a 5.76 million dot EVF, electronic viewfinder, versus the X-T3, which had a 3.69 a million dot viewfinder. So definitely going to be a big improvement in the resolution of the viewfinder, which is really, really nice, especially when you're trying to take photos. Now, of course, the X-T4 will also have pretty much everything else that the X-T3 has that we know and we love, for instance, like the film simulations and those sort of things. Also, the uh, overall ergonomics, I think, will be the same. I don't see them changing any of the dials. I think that they're definitely gonna stick to this, which personally I love, although I know a lot of people don't like it. But all that aside, we are expecting a full announcement about the Fujifilm X-T4 as soon as February 4th, which is really exciting. And then supposedly they'll be shipping as early as March. So I'm very excited for the X-T4. I love my X-T3. And I can only imagine that a Fujifilm X-T3 with a flip out display, oh man, I'm so excited for that. By the way, I am getting all of these rumors from F-stoppers and Petapixel. So if there's any discrepancies between what I'm saying, and what actually is gonna happen, remember these are all just rumors. So take everything with a grain of salt. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am doing a giveaway and this is with Armando Ferrer. So what we are doing is we're giving away two Peak Design Everyday version two packs. Now these packs 
are very beautiful and they have a lot of unique things that everybody loves about Peak Design. It's all in this backpack. So if you want a chance to win this backpack, make sure you leave a comment down below telling me why you want to win the Peak Design Everyday version too. However, if you want a chance to win another backpack, definitely go over to Armando's channel. He's gonna be giving one away there as well. And how we're going to announce the winner is we're going to be doing an Instagram Live. Don't worry, all the details will be in the description down below and we will randomly select a winner. It's gonna be pretty fun. And just really quick guys, I wanna say thank you for a thousand subscribers. Any bit of growth I get, I get really excited and hitting a thousand subscribers was just a joy for me. So also make sure you leave a comment down below telling me where you want this channel to go. It's still a young channel and I can kind of go any which way and I love taking your guys' suggestions. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and as always, thanks for hanging.